Hello, internet friends. So, I am making another video and you're watching it. Okay, I want to make a video showing you what I like to do with my oils that are pretty much empty. So they're all done. There's really nothing left in them. But don't be sad. If you take the cap off, this one's Christmas spirit, by the way, it's absolutely dreamy. It comes out, actually it's sold all year round, but I like to use this um, for holidays, during holiday season, because it literally smells like Christmas in a bottle. That's all I have to say. If you get one of these essential oil um, cap things, I don't know the, the technical term of them. Um, it came with the roller bottles that I got off of Amazon, but if you buy them or buy one or buy it and then use it to take the cap off, you can also use a dull um, butter knife. So just be careful when you're doing it towards yourself so you don't stab and kill yourself. <laughs> um, oh, I love this. So if you take the cap off, there's, you could see there's still one or two little drops in there. And I do not like to waste things. So what I like to do, I want to show you a little secret that I do. Two things that you can do to get the most out of your oils when you think you're all done with them. Okay, I'm going to show you this one. This is one of my favorites. Get a jar of water, distilled water. The reason why it's distilled is because you're going to put it in your diffuser. And I don't like using tap water because of all the... the chlorine and, and mineral buildup. Um, depending on where you live, you may have really hard water. And if I'm going to diffuse it, I want it to be at least cleaner water. So um, tap water, filtered water, or not tap water, I'm sorry, filtered water. Bottled water, filtered water. If you have a filter, use that. So fill up a jar of water. Pick your favorite scents. For example, I already opened this one. I love Christmas spirit. I'm literally just going to drop it in there. It's in there. So now, it's basically whatever oils are left in here are just kind of coming out. I don't know if you could see it, obviously, but whatever is left in there is going to come out. So I have a bunch of bottles that are empty. I have tangerine. I'm going to put that aside. I got tangerine, thieves, thieves, frankincense, oregano, another thieves and purification. So I'm going to do this one for diffusing water. So the good thing with this is I pop it off, I put them in here, and whatever little drops are left are just going to be soaked up into the water. And then I'm going to put that water, you know what, I'm even going to put these things in there because they have oils on them too, and just that. So then what I would do is I would then pour this water into my diffuser. And then if I need to add a few more drops of oils, I'm going to put the caps in there too because they have oils on them as well. I'll just shove everything in there and kind of get it, let all, let it get all wet. And I'm going to put purification as well because these are some great scents. And purification is wonderful for cleansing. Oh, see, look at that. It still had a couple drops. I think I had at least a good four or five drops. So now it's all in that water. Obviously, all this water is not going to fit in this diffuser or I have that one going too, but what I can do is I can save the water. So get another separate jar with a lid, and you know, if you wanna just label it oily water so you don't drink it. Um, in this sense, if you drink these, they're really not gonna be bad for you, but I wouldn't, because it would probably just taste weird, I guess, <laughs> depending on what oils are in it, and not all oils are safe to ingest either. So label your thing oily water, or do not drink, or just know what it is and keep it somewhere and when you need water for your diffuser you just grab it out of here or here and then just pour it in so i'm gonna i'm gonna save frankincense and oregano and i'm gonna oh you know what i'm gonna put a little bit of thieves too so yeah so put whatever scents you want whatever you know it's just a hodgepodge of whatever oils oh i still had two drops of thieves just came out oh oh wow that smells good it smells like i can definitely smell the purification because i had the most drops and the thieves, and uh, what else did I have? Oh, Christmas spirit. So yeah, so here you go, I got some oily water, drink up, ha, <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I got some oily water, put it in my diffuser, ready to go, put whatever's left over, I may have to get a bigger bottle, but um, you get the point, save it in a bottle. So that's one thing you can do with your oils. Another thing you could do with your oils that I love to do, 
My boys love this. Bath time! Get them Epsom salt out. Get the Epsom salt. I love this too for my foot soak, which I'm probably gonna do soon. So get your Epsom salt. This one is a, um, oh, love the smell, peppermint. But I'm gonna infuse it with some essential oils. So make it even more scenty and powerful and fantastic. You can also add baking soda, which is really good for detoxing. So you could put baking soda. I wanna break this up. You could put baking soda in with your Epsom salt. Um, Oh, and then put that in your bath, perfectly fine. So with this one, I'm gonna put whatever's left. I got oregano, frankincense, thieves, and thieves. I'm actually gonna save one of these thieves for, I don't know, maybe I'll just throw, throw you know what, I'll just throw it into the water. Because like I said, it's not all gonna go into one diffuser, it'll be saved, and then it'll just go in various diffusers as I, as I need. Um, oh, so also, in a few minutes, I'll just take these out, rinse them out, and I'm actually gonna, I'd probably save some of these because if you save your essential oil bottles, you can then fill them with a few drops of whatever oil that is and give it to a friend as a sample. Or you could just recycle them because they're glass. So, but uh, that's what, that's how I like to get my oily infused water. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so then with these, I have frankincense, oregano, and thieves. So there may not be that much left, but whatever's left, that one's going in there. <laughs> Whatever is left in the thieves, I'm basically gonna bury it upside down like that so that it's getting whatever drops is left. Gravity is gonna do its job. Oh, oregano, love it. Oregano is super, super great for health and immunity. It's a really, really great. Um, thieves and oregano are my two go-to um, winter wellness rollers or oils for rollers because it's antibacterial, antiseptic, antifungal, antimicrobial. It's like the powerhouse oregano and thieves. Um, both of them separately and both of them together are just like push. And then oregano you can use for cooking. So it's like fantastic. And then frankincense is fantastic for your skin. Fantastic. It's actually frankincense. It's one of the oldest oils um, in the Bible. It was given to Jesus as a gift, um, frankincense oil, and it's great for your skin, and it's found in a lot of um, skin care, high quality skin care. So as you can see, I got those three kind of just sitting upside down and just let gravity do its thing. And even if I get one drop or two, guess what? That's one or two drops that I didn't have. So even if I get two drops of each, that's six drops. And then if I want, I could put a few more drops in there, close this bad boy up, put it under the bathroom sink. Guys, bath time! And then I get like a little scooper or sometimes I just grab my hand and just um, mix it up and then uh, just put it in the bath water. And there you go. You got a relaxing bath with wonderful essential oils that are going to help you mentally, physically, psychologically, spiritually, emotionally, all that good stuff. Um, and smells great and you're not, you know, you're not just throwing them out. You're still kind of getting a few more drops of oily goodness. And then if you really want to up it up a notch, um, wipe off the Epsom salt of these and then throw them in your water. <laughs> and then you got all these fantastic oils. So there you go. Don't get rid of those caps because you still got some fantastic stuff in there. Yay. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, you know, hit me up. Drop me a line, whatever kids say nowadays. Like my necklace, handmade from a lady. Uh, I forgot her name, but it's a website, a Facebook page called Fly Me Home, and she has an Etsy shop. Isn't that beautiful? It's made from like all repurposed materials. I think these are like, it's glass, and she makes them handmade, not just crosses. She has decor. She has all these be beautiful, beautiful, fantastic things. So check out her Facebook page, and she's in Pennsylvania. All right, take care, guys. Have fun, be safe, and enjoy your day. Peace.